okay the the way out i think maybe if i enter the following lines of codes so enter that in there so that means if this is checked so that's for the modify checkbox this very one this very one so if i run it now and i select a car let's say 500 and i click on that that is what i get supposing i check the modify and you see that that's increased so we, we just repeat exactly the same thing for this so let's go into the codes right there come right down so it's going to be exactly the same lines of code for the other one if the other one happens to be stereo that's it right there dot checked dot checked if that's true then okay I'm just gonna copy everything in here copy that paste that right in there that means this one becomes one because they all have their price their cost for each item in there so that is taken care of as well modify um yeah that's modify here oh no that's stereo okay that's taken care of that's stereo taken care of let's see if it will work for both let's try it out now i select let's select this first there's nothing in there then select this okay and click that and you see that supposing i take one off yeah supposing i take the other one off and if i add this to it good it's working as i want okay let's add this to it and see what we have on now tax that is brilliant that's very good all right reset and notice this reset is not working in here so let's go back into the reset and just get that out of the way as well double click on reset and right down here so let's just say ck whatever yeah there they are dot check and the check equals false all right so we just copy this and just paste it for the rest chk gps there so all of those are taken care of now um one other thing maybe total i'm not using that for now so let's comment that out or just delete it do that okay now let's repeat the same thing for the rest ones copy that paste that in there that should be the next one will be customize customize and change this to customize and this will be two yeah okay this will be three and this will be leather seats leather interior and finally this will be gps gps and right in here will be four okay so all of those are taken care of so you guys can have a look at it have a good look at it but there's something if i run it there's still an error in there or a bug supposing nothing is selected there that's a bug right there you see that nothing is selected so we need to take care of that so maybe use an if statement up here somewhere if nothing is selected that means all of this remains the same okay paste that in there and end if there 
um, the MSG on the system I don't know okay let's come in here and okay uh, you must select select a car we must select a car at least so that is if this guy here is zero so let's come into choose a car let's see what I, what do I have in choose a car yeah that is it I'm gonna copy that and just paste that in here I don't need and it's just that alone if that if there's nothing in there then you must you must select the car okay so let's run it and see okay so I've selected nothing that pops up okay so if I select something now let's let it default back anyway okay all right to take care of all of these errors there do it the other way let's come up here copy it all there we go I'm just gonna cut it off and place it right down here let's place it right down there and instead of we use an else if there else there and all of this in that case I don't need that anymore okay okay let's try it out I think before then maybe I should add let's add a message information there okay there and let's run it now and see how it will look like Okay, just waiting for it all right there we go I won't be selecting anything so I just click on total information is showing right there click on that all right supposing I check that and there's nothing in selected here the same information however I have some data in there I may have to delete those data because there's nothing so why should they appear supposing I select something here okay there okay so that is that exit let's take care of the other error that I noticed the other notable error was to do with these three they actually show some data in there which is not and that was not supposed to be I think she just default there because there's nothing in there default it back to zero if nothing is selected repeat the same thing for the other ones and we try it again there okay let's try it again selected as fine if I check that alone you see that that's not supposed to happen okay it's default back to zero all right so when I select something now and there so that's fine let's go back all right the code is getting very long okay let me, let's take it from the top from here down here here down here that's the reset and here we have all of the form load and from here down those are all my those are all my variables assigned value and here I have an array here okay take it down and those are the lines of codes now those are the lines of codes and that is just for one just one car for the other car I can just copy oh this is just for one car really so if I copy this I can just 
use else if for the other one copy that paste that right there and this is supposed to be 100,000 okay for 100,000 how much is the value we need to know that 100,000 miles for zero zero five thousand hundred thousand is three hundred so that is two change this to two and this becomes two as well this becomes two so that's the array I'm changing all of those arrays to two now the next one I'm just gonna copy that again and change it all to that is for hundred thousand the other thousand in this case is what let's see hundred thousand two hundred thousand and five hundred thousand two hundred thousand and five hundred thousand so this would be three three okay all right the next one that's five hundred thousand that's four. Okay then, so we have that of Ford, all the options for Ford is in place. Alright, Ford, Ford is correct, so I can just maybe copy else if, else if, okay, if is, what is the name of the next car, we need to see that, the next car is BMW. If it's BMW, then that's 5,000, 50,000. So all this will be zero. Zero. Okay, and this will become BMW. BMW. Okay. This two. So let's just copy all of this and change it all at once. Alright, that is done for BMW. So let's paste that in there. I've changed it all to BMW. And okay. Let me just copy it. Copy it from the top here forward again. Take it down. And stop it right there. And I'll change it. Okay, I've taken care of that of Polo. The yeah, Polo is taken care of. So, as you can see, it's all the same lines of codes. Alright, let's see. That should be else if, really. Else if as I end up with an error there, let's see. All right, the last one is golf, and we enter that of golf there. Okay, so all the cars are taken care of now. Let's run it and see. Save it first, run. Okay, if I decide to select BM, maybe I intend to customize and so on. So like that, click there. All right. So let's say we have a GPS on board. There. Select maybe any other car. Let's go for this cheap car. Yeah, that's it. 
So all that is left for me now is let's work this out, take care of this. That shouldn't take long. And we need to take care of the receipt as well. Okay, all that is all that we need to do now is double click on the receipt and just enter that. Those are the lines of code for the receipt. So if I scroll up, let me just that's for reset let's scroll up so that you guys see all of the codes again all of the calculation codes right here those variables we have are assigned values and here i've declared some local variable i've not used this variable that's why it's commented out i might as well maybe get rid of it now save and here I have my tax there defined those are all the arrays another set of arrays here and here if Ford is selected and the value of the other combo box is that this is what I expect the system to do else the system do all of this okay so the same thing up to here and then I start another if statement if BM is selected bring it down and NBM there if Polo is selected exactly the same lines of codes and uh, for uh, Golf the same lines of codes as well okay and right here that's golf all taken care of now here these are to do with the checkbox so take it down the five checkbox and this is where the output the final value and here we have our receipt okay now let's take care of the last two which is right here one two let's take care of those get the name of this one sorted the name is kilo and this one is uh, txt kilo so that let's reset that so here dot text equals and txt kilo the text equals then we have the combo box oh no it's a checkbox really no it is a combo box I think it's not a checkbox cmd that will be kilo the text equals so we just make that equals there that is it so that's all sets I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for this one so this is called txt distance so double click on clear and just paste that dot text equals and lbl distance dot text equals then we have cmd distance dot text equals um, I think what did I put in there let's check that select distance so to just click on that copy that paste it in there select distance so the resets of that is taken care of as well so now let's deal with the calculations <coughs> 